everyone and welcome to Project One Gaming. I uh, just wanted to do another video to kind of supplement the uh, last video I posted up about the Red Scorpion Army that we were doing. Uh, more pieces came in and I feel like I didn't really fully show everything and talk about everything that would be involved in the army and the uh, price tag on it and you know this that and the other thing so that video is probably going to be coming down if it hasn't already um, just because this one's going to be a little more in depth. <clears throat> Alright so this video is also going to kind of explain our pricing. So um, what we were doing, um, we were going to do a Blood Angels army but it's going to be themed towards the Forge World upgrade set of the Red Scorpions. Um, you know, we're, we're big into the game and we feel that you know, um, you shouldn't be bound to a paint scheme. You know, I'm playing Blood Angels, so they have to be Blood Angels. I, we don't believe that. So that's why we kind of were looking outside of the box to do the Red Scorpions. But the uh, cool thing about the Red Scorpion set, which I'll have some pictures here, is um, where you see the Red Scorpion emblem on their bodies themselves, those can easily be scraped off. So if Red Scorpions are not what somebody wanted, it's an easy fix. And obviously you wouldn't use the shoulder pads. But this video is to give you a closer look into the contents, and again the price tag, and what we are willing to do. So we're going to start from left to right. Okay, so we see four boxes of salt marines, two venerable dreadnoughts, and two groups of scouts. So let's start there. Um, I'm going to start with the venerable dreadnoughts because I don't want to forget anything. Um, the venerable dreadnoughts are obviously going to have all the all the parts. Um, possible to make them venerable with, you know, like the lav cannon, um, the assault cannon. I think there's a couple more. I haven't really looked, but um, what I have above here are the Furioso Dreadnought uh, Blood Talons. So you can play them as uh, Furioso Dreadnoughts, which I would do. Um, the Scouts. Scouts are an awesome awesome troop choice in 6th in, uh, edition. Um, one, because you get the sniper rifles, um, the locator beacons, which would help you, you know, deep strike and, and all sorts of things. Um, I was a particular fan of these scout models as opposed to the sniper scouts. I, I really don't like the cloaks, so um, that's that. Um, okay, so in front of the boxes I have certain bits to kind of remind me to talk about some stuff. So this bit right here focus in. There we go. Uh, yeah. Alright, so that bit right there is obviously a um, artificer armor from Sanguinary Guard. Um, so, yes, there's a group of five Sanguinary Guard um, that is with this army. Again, they're awesome choices. So there's that. I'll take him out of the bag. Uh, one of the HQ choices was a librarian. And this is actually the Red Scorpion's librarian. So let's see if we can get that focused in for you. There he is. So that was one of the HQ choices. So... That's him. What else do we got? So I have this chaplain here. I know he's metal cast. Bring him closer here. I know he's metal cast, but I think this was the coolest looking uh, chaplain model out there. So that was him. Let's pan on over to this big pile vehicle stuff. Alright, so there's four rhinos um, in this set, and these screws over here are all the added weaponry, you know, your uh, 
heavy bolt, or excuse me, your uh, storm bolters and your missile launchers, things like that. So there's that kind of stuff. The base of you know the rhinos, all the foundation parts. But um, one thing we did get were these from Chapter House. Um, this is the pre-heresy upgrade kit from Chapter House. They actually go like that, so the, the door entries look like that, because that's the way they were modeled in the pre-heresy. And then it comes with two style front um, parts of the vehicles. This is what it looked like in the pre-heresy, were these doors, but there's also a door, or um, a front panel like that, you know, as opposed to the traditional one, so different options. So there's four of those to go along with the uh, rhinos. There's three sets of these guys. Um, I am going to be showing pictures throughout or towards the end of the video of all these things, but these are from Puppets of War. These are the Mark II missile launchers to serve as whirlwinds. They sit on a base like this. So they attach to the sides, and there's a top piece to cover, uh, cover up. And uh, there's, I think there is a, a piece where, it, obviously it doesn't look like a GW Space Marine, but it's kind of a, a variant of a Space Marine to look like he's manning this turret, which is kind of cool. Um, so there's three of those, so you can turn these rhinos into whirlwinds. And then there's two of these. Now you can, I, I, lo I love this model, or I guess that's what you would call it. Um, it would serve two purposes. A, Razorbacks. Or B, mount them up and use them as um, the Bale Predator with the, the Gatling gun on top, or the assault cannon, however you want to call it. So that's the that. There's two of these. Okay. Slide down one last time. And obviously this is a Land Raider, just the, the side portion of it. But this is the Chapter House upgrade kit to make it look like pre-heresy. It just goes in... I think I got the wrong side, but I'll give you the picture here. It'll go in like that. I know this is upside down, but just to give you the, the quick idea. So the, the back entry or the back doorway would be here. The weapons would be mounted in here. And for the front is this piece. So instead of the um, weapon being fully exposed, it actually tucks in here. Um, again, I'm going to also have a photo of uh, a picture I found on the internet of this upgrade kit on a Land Raider. Um, so I want to show you guys this quick picture of um, all this stuff in a shopping cart on um, Games Workshop's website. Obviously anything that can be done on Games Workshop's website. So let me give you a quick second to look at that. Alright, so now that you guys looked at that, that's obviously not everything. That's not including um, the chaplain. I kind of forgot to add him in there. Um, it's not including the uh, Forge World upgrades. That's not including all the Chapter House stuff. That's not including all the Puppets of War stuff. Um, that's not including the addition to... Because um, I, I did do two Venerable Dreadnoughts, but I, I put the Furiosos in the cart just to show you that they can be both. But again that's not including all the extra bits that come with it to make them universal or you know make them however you want and you guys can see that it's you know five hundred and thirty dollars just for the core models of this army so in the liner notes would be the price tag of what we are going to do this army for for you guys um, again it will be fully assembled painted I mean I guess if you really wanted to buy it as is you could um, the price tag really wouldn't change only because you know we're just trying to get everyone to understand that this is what we do for pricing um, usually you can go to gamesworkshop.com or you know whatever game you play and go you know add everything into your your um, shopping cart and that's about what you're going to pay for our service but it's going to be assembled paint it for you and, and the bases would also be done um, to your to your liking so I hope that kind of eases um, you know the subscribers minds about how much do we actually charge for um, our company so I hope you guys enjoyed that quick look into all of that 
Um, if you have any questions, get at us at projectonegaming at gmail.com. Post comments below. Um, and just let us know what you guys think. Alright guys, everybody take care.